guys welcome back to a new series this is going to be called the speech series okay this is about sharks the history of sharks and it's about eight minutes okay three two one evidence for the existence of sharks dates from the ordovician period 450 to 420 million years ago before land vertebrates existed and before a variety of plants had colonized the continents only scales have been recovered from the first sharks, and not all paleontologists agree that these are from true sharks. Suspecting that these scales are actually from those of Thylodont agnathans, the oldest generally accepted shark scales are from about 420 million years ago, in the Sil Silurian period. The first sharks looked very different from modern sharks. At this time, the most common shark tooth is the caledant, a style of thin tooth with three tines like a trident, apparently to help catch fish. The majority of modern sharks can be traced back to around 100 million years ago. Most fossil are of teeth, often in large numbers, partially partial skeletons, and even complete fossilized remains have been discovered. Estimates suggest that the sharks grow tens of thousands of teeth over a lifetime, which explains the abundant fossil. The teeth consist of easily fossilized calcium phosphate and aptite. appetite. When a shark dies, the decomposing skeleton breaks up, scattering the appetite prisms. Preservation requires the rapid burial in bottom sediments. Among the most ancient and primitive sharks is Cladocelchi, from about 370 million years ago, which has been found within the Paleozoic strata in Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee. At that point in Earth's history, these rocks made up the soft bottom sediments of a large, shallow ocean which stretched across much of North America. Cladocelch was only about 1 meter, 3.3 feet long, with stiff triangular fins and slender jaws. Its teeth had several pointed cusps, which wore down from use. From the small number of teeth found together, it is most likely that... Oh that Cladsoish did not replace its teeth as regularly as modern sharks. Its caudal fin had similar shape to the general great white sharks in the pelagic short fin and long fin makos. The presence of whole fish arranged tail first in their stomachs suggests that they were fast swimmers with great agility. Most fossil sharks from about 300 to 150 million years ago can be assigned to one of two groups. The Xenocanthida was almost exclusive to freshwater environments. By the time this group became extinct about 220 million years ago, they had spread worldwide. The other group, the Hybodon, Hybodonts appeared about 320 million years ago and lived mostly in the oceans, but also in fresh water. The results of a 2014 study of the gill structure of an unusually well-preserved 325 million year old fossil suggested that sharks are not living fossils, but rather have evolved more extensively than previously thought. Over the hundreds of millions of years they have been around. Modern sharks began to appear about 100 million years ago. Fossil mackerel shark teeth date to the early Cretaceous. One of the most recently evolved families is the hammerhead shark. Family Cifernate. Cifernate. 
Cyphernide, which emerged in the Eocene, the oldest white shark teeth to date from 60 to 66 million years ago. <laughs> Around the time of the extinction of the dinosaurs and early white shark evolution, there are at least two lineages. One lineage is of white sharks with coarsely serrated teeth, and it probably gave rise to modern great white sharks. Another lineage is of white sharks with finely serrated teeth. These sharks attained gigantic proportions and include the extinct megalodon toothed shark. See, megalodon, like the most extinct sharks. See, Megalodon is primarily known from its fossil teeth and vertebrae. This giant shark reached a total length of more than 16 meters or 52 feet. Sea Megalodon may have approached a maxima of 20.3 meters or 67 feet in total length in 103 metric tons. 114 short tons in mass. Paleontological evidence suggests that this shark was an active predator of large oceans, of large cetaceans. Another fact about sharks is that their embryo will actually try to eat each other Because sharks conclude themselves as tough. Which is why sand tiger sharks have the biggest embryos out of any shark, but they still grow as big as they do. Biggest embryo out of any shark other than the whale shark. But they're small. They grow up to be not that big a shark. Then another cool fact about sharks is that they can, is that there are more than hundreds of different shaped and sized sharks throughout the world. Like one that has survived around 120 million years ago, that is a modern shark today, that was still like it was. 120 million years ago. It is called the Goblin Shark, which has a pointed nose and its mouth can actually reach a length of a foot extra. Like, its mouth is like this and then it just goes out to catch its prey. So that is another cool fact. And sharks can actually grow up to 30,000 teeth in their lifetime. 30,000 to 100,000. In between there. So, thank you for watching the start of my series. I'm sorry if it was a little boring. But I will try to improve. That's why I'm doing this type of series, guys, is... Oh, so I can have help in speech writing for higher school educations. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment how this speech could be fixed a little. And how me speaking it can be fixed a little. And yeah, tell your friends about this channel. Have them subscribe. We get to a thousand subscribe. We get to two thousand subscribers, and ten k views. Guys, I will actually, really totally, get a face cam avatar, meaning that it will follow my face, but it will be of a shark. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and yeah, stay sharky.